here we have a little challenge on the board but before you go into today's challenge my name is jakes anemo and if you are new to this channel subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that youtube can notify you whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you are about to watch right now all right so let's proceed here we have a question and it says solve 4 to the power of x plus 4 times 2 to the power of x all equal to 32 all right as you can see this is an exponential question so how do we handle this exponential challenge let's proceed so here we take our solution so here we have a solution let's take down our question first so this gives us 4 to the power of x plus 4 times 2 to the power of x all equal to 32. All right. Now, let's look at the first term here. 4 to the power of x can also be expressed as 2 to the power of 2 all to the power of x. Because we are having 2 to the power of x, hence the idea of bringing 2 to the power of x should come to mind. So we can now go ahead to express this as 2 to the power of 2 all raised to the power of x plus 4 times 2 to the power of x all equal to 32. Very nice. Because 2 to the power of 2 will give us 4. So we have not really changed anything in the system. Whatever we have in the first expression is still the same as we have in the second expression. So from here, let's go and open this bracket. According to the law of indices, it says when you have a number raised to a power and it is further raised to another power, then multiply the power. Now, I produced a video on that and I titled it the seven pillars of indices is showing up here okay you can equally watch it to get the seven laws of indices all right so if you go by that law this will give us 2 to the power of 2x plus 4 to the power sorry times 2 to the power of x all equal to 32. now that we have this we can split this then we now equate 2 to the power of x to a particular number. So, but before that, let's take this as 2 to the power of x, being that we are having 2 to the power of x on this other side. So, all in bracket to the power of 2 plus 4 bracket 2 to the power of x or equal to 2. What if I decide to introduce another alphabet here by saying let 2 to the power of s equal to p or y or q. All right, so we can now say from here let or you say put, so say let p is equal to 2 to the power of x. What does that mean? It means wherever we see p, we put in 2 to the power of x. So from here, we proceed. All right, let's substitute p in place of 2 to the power of x. Here we have 2 to the power of x. So automatically, p will come in here. But the p is raised to power 2. So this gives us p to the power of 2 plus 4. Here we have 2 to the power of x again times p. All equal to 32. If we rearrange this, this will give us p squared plus 4p minus 32 or equal to 0. Here, we collect light terms. We arrange the equation by moving the constant term from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. And mind you, here we have an invisible plus sign. So once the invisible plus crosses the sign of equality, it turns to a minus. Hence, this minus sign we have in here. Now, as you can see from the equation, this is a type of equation we call a quadratic equation. So, we solve this quadratically by using the factorization method. 
using the factorization method, we have to look for the factors of 32 that two of them, when they are multiplied, will give us minus 32 and the addition of same two factors will give us plus 4. How do we go about that? Breaking out the factors of 32, this will give us 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, there's 16 and 32 itself. Because every number is a factor of itself. So from these numbers, let's pick two numbers that their multiplication will give us 32 and their addiction will give us 4. So from all analysis, we are going to have 4 and 8. Now, what will be the sign? Mind you, the multiplication must give us a negative 32 and the addition must give us a positive 4. So if we decide to assign a plus sign to 8 and a minus sign to 4, that will give us minus 4 times plus 8. That will give us minus 32. Then if we go the other way around, which is plus 8 minus 4, we give us plus 4. So we got the number. We proceed first. Say p square minus 4p plus 8p minus 32 or equal to 0. Now, from here, we cannot put these two in bracket, put this in bracket. So if we do that, this will give this, this will give us this, this and this will be grouped together. So let's look into the bracket and see what factors or what elements are common to both terms. Here we have P here, here we have P here. So we can factorize P out. Here we have 8 and 8 can equally go into 32. So we factorize it out on this other side. So from the first side, this will give us P into P into P square, we are left with P minus and P into 4P, we are left with minus 4 plus this other side, like I told you, is going to be 8. So we have 8 bracket, 8 into 8P, we are left with P minus 8 into 32, we give us 4 or equal to 0. Now, if you look critically, you discover that what we have in the first bracket is same in the second bracket. So at this point, we take only one of these, take the terms that are outside to form another expression. So this will now give us P plus 8, close bracket, bracket P minus 4 or equal to 0. Now that we have everything equal to 0, we can equate the first bracket to 0, equate the second bracket to 0. So let's go ahead and do this. This will now give us P plus 8 equal to 0 or P minus 4 equal to 0. So if we collect our lightness because we are looking for P, so P will now give us here minus 8 or P is equal to positive 4. Therefore, we now have P is equal to minus 8 or 4. Now, initially, we don't have P in our expression. What we have here is X as our unknown, as our variable. So we now go back to where we said let P is equal to 2 raised to power X. So from here, let's proceed again. From here, P is equal to minus 8. Now, for the first part of P, this solution is not real, does not exist. Exist. So since this does not exist, we discard the minus a b and take only this second expression. So this will now give us p equal to 2 raised to power x now implies that 4 is equal to 2 raised to power x. All right, now that we're having 2, a 2 here, and here we are having 4. So we try to introduce 2 as the base number to the left-hand side. You ask yourself, if I put 2 on the left-hand side, can I raise it to any number to give me 4? The answer is yes. It's 2 raised to power 2. So this 
can be written as 2 to the power of 2 equal to 2 to the power of x. Now that the base numbers are the same and there is an equality sign, what do you do? The base number will strike the cells. So with this and this, we leave the system. We are then left with 2 equal to x. Therefore, x is equal to 2. This is the solution to this quadratic equation. Q, E, D. All right. So this is all I have for you for today. Okay. Thanks for subscribing.